Hi, my name is Dool Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on the Urban Worm Bag. Now, in my last update, I saw a couple fruit flies in there that I've had a major issue with in my house and in my basement here, especially with my, my worm bins. And it's time to take a look and see how it's doing. If it has a fruit fly issue, it might be time to do the same thing that I've done to my other systems, which is load it up with paper and really try to crack down on them and see if I can get rid of these fruit flies. Um, the more that I, I sit there, they've moved from this system to this system, and I really need to get rid of them. So we're going to open it up. We're going to take a look. We'll probably do a feeding, even if there are fruit flies in there, and then we're going to bury it in paper, just as I've done with some of my other systems. So let's go and take a look. Okay, so here's the ba bag. I have my vacuum here ready to go, just in case there's a lot of fruit flies, because I did feed them last time after I saw a couple in there. So let's open it up and take a look and see how this is doing. I'm just going to open this up right away. I already see a couple up. Oh, I already see fruit flies. Yep. All right, so this is another system that has slowly been infiltrated by all these fruit flies that I have. And that's where I'm going to really bury this in. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's just take this top off. Let's take a look and see how it's doing. First off, good moisture material in here. Looks pretty good. Let's just see. Can I zoom in a little bit? Let me zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. So material looks plenty wet. There's a fruit fly over there. Let's just dig down in here into the food section here. Tons of worms, it looks like. Solid mass of food with some cardboard. But the worms look pretty good. They're actually, they are starting to move around in there in that section, consume this food. And it's been a while since I fed them. So, but we need to really work on getting rid of, see here's that corn on the cob. You can see a bunch of worms on it, which is good. So I'm glad to see that they're working at that. Still not real soft, but they're, they're getting there. A little bit of odor from the system. Let's just dig this up a little bit more. Some more worms in there. Looks a little bit dry in here, but this is going to be okay because we're going to be adding a ton of bedding material. We're going to really bury this in here. So, and we're going to get started on that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to move this shirt over to this side. We're going to dig up over here and just move on top over here. So we're going to just dig this side up because we're going to add a ton of food here to this too while we do this. And that's one of the things that I really, really want to show here is that this thing can really move through some food. Uh, let's get a little compact in the bottom here. Kind of dig this out a little bit. All right, that's good material in the bottom there. We'll get a little bit of paper down in there. We'll throw in a little bit of fresh bedding. Just a little bit because I'm throwing in all frozen food, as I always do. That way I know that there's no fruit flies on it. And as I've, I think I've mentioned this in the past, the fruit flies that I have in this issue is not because of the food that I put in here because everything gets frozen. It's actually due to a, so a container that I was given that had a ton of uh, oyster shells in it that I was going to process. And I didn't realize that the bottom was open. So that's how I kind of came, ac came, came across this issue. So we're going to do that. We're going to actually take this shirt, and instead of putting it on top like we normally do, we're going to bury it in here right on top of this. All right, now this can still cause fruit flies to grow, which is why we're going to kind of bury this around here like this. All right, and then we're going to kind of bury this in. All right. Now, normally this would be enough you know, you'd stop feeding for a while and they, they would go away and, you know, they could come back at some point if they, they're still in here. So what instead we're going to do is, this is pretty dry, the material in here. We're going to add some diatomaceous earth, which we'll, I'm going to put on a mask. And this is going to, because of the dry material in here, it should dry out even more. And when it's dry, it's supposed to work really well. So let me get that. All right, so we're going to add this right here. This is diatomaceous earth, food grade. And I've got my mask on. I've got an N95 mask on to make sure I take care of my lungs. And we're going to dump a bunch of, bunch of this on top. Now, as I said, we're going to close this thing up. We're going to really, really bury this everything in here. 
But I just want to get a little bit of this in there too. And make sure that I'm doing everything I can to try to get rid of these fruit flies because I really need to get this over with. I really should have worn gloves, by the way. I forgot my gloves on there. All right, so I'm going to put that away. I still have my mask on because of uh, the fact that there's still dust in the air. But now we're going to put in, this is a six gallon bucket of paper. This is just shredded cardboard. A whole lot of shredded cardboard. And what we're going to do here essentially is just bury this in. We're going to make it where it's a dry layer on top. The fruit flies, when they're flying around or trying to get up to the top, they're going to get buried. Now this is what I did in the other system that I showed, which was my Urban Worm Bag version 1. And that was my go-to system. So it's going to, I'm going to have to really build up with food, or I should say I will build up with food, during this time period of trying to get rid of these fruit flies, but it's a small price to pay. Well, I try to get rid of them. Actually, this can hold a little bit more. I'm filling this all the way up to the top. The idea is that you don't have any room for them to fly around in the system. All right, so I had to add all my paper here. Wow. I've been doing a lot of cardboard shredding lately, as you can tell here. So now this is full. Now we're not gonna have an update for quite a while. I wanna make sure I get this all the way into the corners because that's where they tend to, to go up is on these edges. And what's going to happen is they're going to dig down inside, they're going to get to the food, they might lay some eggs to start. When they're going to come back up to try to get up here to breed, it's going to be hard to find each other because of how tightly this is going to be packed. See? And actually, the other thing you can do is I have this right here. I'm not going to put this back in the system this time. I'm actually going to put this outside. It is freezing cold outside and that will kill the fruit flies as well as the cold temperatures. So we are done with our update for this bin and we will not see this bag for a while. So it'll probably be a month or two before my next update. And then we'll hopefully have no fruit flies in here. We'll get this going again. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know. There's another fruit fly right there. He got away. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get them all eventually. And that way you guys can see how this works as well for getting rid of them. As I said, they'll be in here for a while but it'll, the numbers should dwindle and they should disappear. So thank you for watching and please let me know if you have any questions down below.